It's not, there's still things that I like about the REC BMS, and even now I still do. I mean, excuse the heatsink goo. Um, you know, but um, there, there, there is still many, many things I, I, I do like. I mean, it's been in service, as I said, for two years. We run it with a lid off with a fan blowing on it. Uh, I mean, you just look at those resistors to, to, to burn off the heat um between the cells and and they can run all run actually at the same time it's ridiculous the, the amount that's being burned off um the nice thing i like about this one of the nicest if not the nicest thing i like about this that that is over the batrium this will adjust your charging amperage so as your batteries get fuller and fuller and fuller this will actually tell the sma to ramp down okay so I like that. I think that is a really, really nice feature when compared to the Batrium. I'm not going to say everybody is like this or not like this. So I, I never say one or the other. You know, I think they've got different jobs for different purposes based on your circumstance and environment. So the Batrium one, however, is, is if I've worked this out correctly in my mind, I have no problem anybody else coming in and telling me otherwise. But from what I can understand, there's effectively like three settings for charging or, or maybe even discharging, but I'll say charging. So you've got full chat on, like, so in my case, 170 amps. Then you have something called limited, which means that um, it can happen when the BMS or this or that. Right, which means it brings it down to about 2.8 amps. And then you just have off. So it's not really a, a fine gradient slope up or down or, you know, whereas the, the REC one will taper that to, to suit.